good afternoon and salam ibu pertiwiku. This is the state news on TV Sarawak. The Sarawak government has set up five agricultural policies in its efforts to become a clean food exporter by 2030. Deputy Minister of Corporate Affairs Abdullah Saidul said the policies are aimed at increasing the level of food subsistence while increasing the income of farmers. These include inviting the private sector to invest in the agricultural sector, implementing modern agricultural methods including the use of digital technology and building upgrades to agricultural infrastructure such as farm roads, irrigation and drain drainage systems. He said this when answering Jamoring State Assemblyman Dato Murshid Diraja Juwanda Jaya at the State Legislative Assembly today. The Sarawak Multimedia Authority SMA will construct 300 telecommunication towers, mostly in the rural areas, under the Sarawak Digital Economy Strategy 2018-2022. Deputy Minister of Corporate Affairs Abdullah Saidal said the project, called SMA 300, is in the implementation stage. He told the State Leg Legislative Assembly this morning that three of the towers will be built in Ngama constituency and expected to be completed in the first quarter of next year and another 11 in Kabon constituency, among others. He added that the 300 telecommunication towers would have 3G and 4G networks. Exposure to virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR technologies in learning is one of the most effective ways of teaching and learning. Sarawak Foundation Director Azmi Bujang said this year, students such as those of Taska Tarika Yayasan Kusayang were exposed to such technology. Pada tahun 2019, teknologi virtual reality iaitu VR dan augmented reality AR telah diperkenalkan kepada anak-anak Taska Tadika Yasan Kusayang sebagai salah satu keedah bagi menambah baik pengajaran dan pembelajaran secara fun learning. He said this in a speech at the 9th TTYS convention in Kuching today. The ceremony was officiated by the wife of the Chief Minister and TTYS patron Adatin Patinggi Dato Amar Jumani Tuanku Bujang, who also unveiled the new TTYS logo and shirt. Well, that's all news updates for now. Stay tuned for more. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thanks for watching.